for October 2nd, 2024. Uh, Carl, will you please call the roll? Yes, sir. Commissioner Matthew? Here. Commissioner Gooch? Here. Commissioner Phillips? Present. Commissioner Johnson? Present. Commissioner Boyd? Here. Commissioner P? Here. Chairman Carr? Here. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. We have nobody signed up for public comments. Is that correct? Okay. Uh, so we have uh, only um, under the guidelines for a special call meeting, we have uh, one item that we're going to address, and that's the under advisement for the waste management contract. And with that, if there is no objection, I'm going to ask Nick to come sit at the table and explain uh, the process, uh, what happened, uh, the results of that process. And I, with the committee's indulgence, uh, I'm just going to allow you, the committee, to ask questions as you see fit. I, I just, I'm sure I'll be polite and be in order, but uh, I'm not going to necessarily recognize you. So if you have a question for Nick, uh, by all means do so. He's going to explain the process and the results of that process. And at the appropriate time, we'll entertain a motion. Nick? Yeah. Uh, thank you, uh, gentlemen. Hello. Uh, so just to quickly recap where I think this committee left off is last time it met uh, there, uh, or previous to the time it had met, this matter had come before uh, this committee and it had been referred to the Public Works Committee and to the Budget Committee. Uh, those committees reviewed the item and provided um, fairly substantive comment and discussion and debate uh, on it. Um, the item then returned back to this committee for um, additional consideration and the committee uh, voted and instructed that there be additional discussions had um, with waste management on a few different points. Uh, subsequent to that, uh, myself and the mayor and Michael Smith um, uh, were um, uh, relaying those points to waste management. There were um, a few back and forth, um, uh, in-person electronic communication, uh, and uh, phone calls, etc. exchanged. And we relayed um, those points per this committee's direction and received responses back from waste management. And uh, what I'm going to go through with you tonight is the resolve on those points. Um, so one of the um, points that this committee wanted uh, either changed or clarified was the start date. Um, the agreement that had uh, originally come had a January 1 start date and this committee uh, was inquiring about whether that could be uh, extended. They have agreed to a July 1, 2025 start date. So waste management acquiesced in uh, that request. The next point dealt with loading services. Uh, there was back and forth at the committee level about the extent to which the county wanted to provide those loading services itself. I believe the committee members on those committees heard from your solid waste director um, on those issues. And I, I, must, I'm, I believe the concern uh, from the committee was, this committee, was whether there was some sort of ability for the county to terminate the loading services at some point uh, um, and lay that out in the agreement. Waste management has ac acquiesced in that request and so provision was included to um, allow for the county to terminate the loading services portion of the agreement upon 90 days notice. And if it were to do that, uh, the uh, what I'm going to call minimum true ups, right? There was a there's a there's a, a, a fee list in there for the loading. Uh, if the county were to terminate uh, the loading services, those fees would terminate as well, and the county wouldn't owe any loading fees, and there'd be no uh, a quarterly minimum true up amount. Okay, um, and though with that said. If the county were to do that, the county is going to be obligated to ensure that those loading services are provided. And that kind of only makes sense because if waste management is going to be uh, transporting and disposing of the waste, somebody's got to load it on 
to their trucks, and if they're not going to do it, they need to be rest assured that the county will provide that, uh, that service. So um, they agreed uh, to the termination of the loading services at the discretion of the county. Uh, the next point uh, dealt with what has been labeled as kind of a soft opening of the transfer station uh, where uh, uh, waste management would agree to would be for the first three months of uh, the agreement, so starting in July, and for the first three months, the minimum uh, uh, tonnage fee which was originally fifty thousand uh, dollars, they've agreed to reduce that to twenty-five thousand dollars. So uh, the county, uh, in terms of the amount of waste uh, that would need to be loaded onto the trucks and the fees relative to that loading, uh, would need to reach a minimum of twenty-five thousand uh, dollars per month, as opposed to the fifty thousand dollars. Kind of allowing a three-month time frame there to get uh, the transfer station up and running. And so uh, aligned with that, and just to clarify, there was some discussion about this, what I call the minimum true up, that's what it's labeled in the agreement. There was some discussion about it being a penalty. In other words, if the county didn't meet the minimum amount for the loading, then they would be charged, let's say, uh, $50,000 in the original agreement. That's not how it works. Um, how it works is there's a calculation that is done, and it takes the amount of fees that have been paid for the amount of uh, uh, waste that has been loaded, and if they're, if it doesn't reach that minimum amount, the county has to true up and pay the difference between those two amounts to waste management. So again, uh, for the first three months of the agreement, uh, that is a $25,000 minimum true up, and then it increases to $50,000 thereafter. Um, uh, uh, that's, that's, that's the way it, it's set up. Um, the, there was a, a, an alteration to the um, renewal language simply to allow for within six months of the uh, expiration of the initial five years. If there's going to be any proposed changes to the agreement, um, they got to let us know on it. So if there's an increase in the base rates or anything like that, um, they got to let us know so that the county can determine what it's going to do on that. Um, and then finally, well, what's the time frame there? 180 days, six months. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, and then finally. Um, there was discussion about an airspace guarantee. That was um, subject to discussion, and, uh, and waste management is here, by the way, and I would encourage you, if you've got questions for them, uh, to ask them, because they, they are here. Um, but on the airspace guarantee, the, um, the response was, you know, that's something that uh, we would be open to. However, in order to do that, they would want a reciprocal um, uh, contractual obligation from the county that we are assuring them a certain amount of tonnage that will be given to them. The idea being if they're going to reserve airspace and guarantee it for the county, then they want to be rest assured that they have the ability to fill it. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm not a solid waste expert by any stretch of the imagination, but at this early stage in the waste transfer station and the county's involvement with it, it's probably impossible to project the amount of you know, tonnage for certain that's going to be done and certainly to distill it down into some sort of uh, projection that we can obligate the county to that we <coughs> give so much waste you know, per month or per, 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 per quarter. Uh, and so that's something that did not get resolved uh, in the discussions um, uh, because of the, those, those various issues there. Um, that if they're going to provide a guarantee, then they want one from us, and it's probably not possible for the county to guarantee a certain amount, at least at this stage, that it would use to um, uh, fill the guaranteed airspace. So that's where we are uh, on the discussions. Um, the agreement is uh, all, all, all other things being equal the same, and uh, so that's what's happened over the last few weeks. What about the question of technology? 
Uh, yeah, that kind of got subsumed in the loading um, termination piece because the idea was that if there's some other, um, the way I understood it is if there was some technology that came out that said we didn't need to, uh, uh, it, it, it didn't require us to have to load it or uh, other, it would, it would allow us to terminate the loading piece of it. Um, so if, if it was going to be, and they, they agreed to that, they allow, they're allowing us to terminate the loading piece. If there was going to be any other sort of termination of the agreement, uh, I don't think that's the way that, um, that waste management would agree to that, to just allow us to get out at any time uh, for any reason. So that's not part of the agreement. said waste management's here. I'm sure that they appreciate me reiterating that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, uh, it, was there not in the, also we, there was a 50,000 ton annual limit to kick in. Did that not get reduced to 40,000? Yeah, it did because the numbers didn't right. didn't align and jive. The math so said it wasn't working, the, so we fixed the math. Yeah, so the, um, the uh, i trying to remember here, the annual, um, it was the loading portion. Yeah, it dealt with the loading portion. It was all tied to that to make the numbers align with not just the three months, but just to make sure the computation worked. And it went from 1537 as the maximum per ton down to 15 to make that math work. Is that not right? That's correct. So um, the idea is that the minimum uh, monthly true up is based on $50,000 per month. This is not the first three months. I'm not I'm after that. Fifty thousand dollar per month if the uh, solid waste tonnage falls below forty thousand annual and ten thousand per quarter. Originally, it was fifty thousand annual and twelve thousand five hundred per quarter. But the numbers it wasn't right in the original agreement, so that was a cleanup, and, and so that that was just a beneficial clarification on it. Thank you. So that's where we are, and I think that at this point the committee, uh, you know, uh, needs to make some sort of decision uh, either way uh, on the deal. Uh, I'm not uh, so sure how you know readily uh, uh, amenable waste management is to continued discussions or further alterations on it. Uh, but the, you know, this has been through the committee process uh, at least the last go around. Well, this agreement has not been through the committee process. Uh, my thoughts would be to I think it's under advisement with this committee to take it to public works and come back at our next scheduled meeting, which is what, 15? Yes, correct. Look at it then. And that would be my suggestion. I can make that in the form of a motion. But uh, if somebody wants to second, we can discuss it. But So that's my motion. We, Look at this you know, on the 15th. Send it to Public Works. Let them see it. Give us time to look at it. Second. Now I got a question. We got waste management here. It's waiting 14 days or 13 days. A hardship. I mean, honestly, we don't want to go through the same process we just went through before with this agreement. Well, this would be giving our committee a chance to look at it. And, uh, so I did invite the Public Works Committee uh, to attend tonight if they wanted to ask questions, just for your information. I mean, if I can approach, I can just discuss kind of the concessions we've made here. Without objection, Don, if you'll come and introduce yourself, if you'll come sure. to the table and yeah. introduce yourself, <clears> then yep. you can address directly. Uh, Chairman Pease, uh, question. Well, yeah. he's, well, he's coming up. I don't know how this fits, Nick. And God knows you've corrected me more times than agreed with me, but and I appreciate that. It's not a criticism, okay? Uh, but in essence, we opened up the bids. We took them under advisement. We sent them to the public works for... Uh, 
for critique, um, public works and budget really. Public works gave us that feedback. Uh, the full commission asked us to reconsider. That's what we did. So it would be taking it under advisement again be appropriate or inappropriate since we've already done it once. Well, from a procedural standpoint, I don't think that there's something that would prohibit you okay. from doing that. But then, I mean, just thinking about how negotiations work, uh, you know, uh, if there's going to be another round of this, uh, at what point, you know, is there any fatigue on the other side? Or at what point, you know, do we, does a decision need to be made? Um, but that's not for me to, to, to decide. If the committee wants to do that, they, they, they can do that. I'm not suggesting that there be changes. I'm, I'm suggesting that we give information to our public works committee. And this is one of the more important decisions we're going to be making. I've heard a lot of criticism over the contract that we had originally with Republic that it wasn't uh, in our best interest over a long term period. Of course, we were learning. And I don't want to make the same mistake. I want us to vet this out as best we can and do the best job for our citizens. And I think taking it back to the schools <coughs> to let them look at it, they, you know, my guess is they're gonna say it's fine. That's my guess, but I think it's appropriate to send it back to them and look at it. I'm, I'm not suggesting it would be, uh, you know, changed at all. It might not be. But they, they would not be the ones that would change it. It'd have to be this committee here to my understanding with y'all's agreement. I, I mean, look, <clears throat> as you know, Nick already laid out, we made, we listened, we came to the meetings, we heard concerns, concessions were made. As the mayor mentioned, you know, we lowered the minimum loading cost. We provided a ramp up period that's gonna end up costing us money because we have a subcontractor that we're gonna be paying for those three months that the ramp up period's gonna happen. Um, we provided a 90 day out for loading these are four or five year terms. We, we'd love to have a 20 year contract, continue it for 20 years. But if you're concerned about entering into a long-term agreement, there's five year outs. The county can make different decisions there. I mean, we feel like we've come to the point of war. We're, we're the this is the best agreement you're gonna get from us. If that's, you know, if that's what you wanna hear. This is it. That's, that's not what I wanna hear. No, I know that's that, not that, what that's I, just, that's yeah. But, but I'm just saying this this is this is where we're at. It's well, fair, it's equitable. Uh, we feel like we can address your concerns here. Well, and I'm not saying that it's okay. not, but I haven't had a chance to read through these. I don't think anybody else got any of this contract for right now. Okay. okay. So that's part of the reason that I want to hold off. I don't ever want to vote on something that I get five minutes later I gotta make a decision on it. We a lot of times we will not do it. And I think this is one of those times. You know, everything may be fine, and I don't, from what I've seen, I don't have a problem with it. I wish that there would have been a clause in there for new technology that both sides could agree on as a group, you know, as a mutual agreement. You know, if y'all said no, then it would be no. If we well, said no. I mean, if we think about new technology, and I'll just give you my perspective, if new technology comes up, these are five-year terms. If new technology is identified, the time to develop that, progress that to a point where it's feasible and viable, you're, you're gonna have those windows to do that under this agreement, I certainly believe that. And I'm not suggesting you make an immediate decision on something you haven't seen, but it's just, <coughs> from our perspective, we don't wanna go through months of meetings again. I, mean, I, I understand that, so but that's exactly that. what you're asking us to do if we don't, if we vote on it now. Is that not correct? We prefer you vote on it now, yes. <laughs> Yeah. I'll see you I want to. Yeah. <coughs> uh, Commissioner, just two thoughts on that. So, so this went through a purchase in, and then public works and then budget, and there were five concerns that were identified that we wanted to go back to further negotiate. And of those five, <coughs> we came to an agreement on four, we 
obviously couldn't on the last one. Is there anything other than these aspects, Nick, that's changed in the contract? Uh, not any substance stuff. I went in and changed like a period or two when I was going through it again just to clean it up, but not any substantive provisions. I don't know of any contract that's been vetted more than this one. Since I'm can y'all, McAdoo, can you think of any contract that's been vetted more than this? Probably a couple. They were more severe legally than what we're talking about tonight. And I could understand why they were. Yeah. I just feel like that it's been vetted by multiple committees, our attorney, <coughs> the mayor's office, and legal staff there. And um, I just don't see a need to send this back to any other committee. Um, the two committees that had concerns were addressed, and I think favorably, and I think that this is what we're going to get. I think that nothing else has changed in the contract that has been vetted by three committees, legal staff and the mayor's office. So I, I don't see a need to <coughs> postpone this any, this vote any, any, any longer. That's just my thought. <coughs> I agree with uh, Mr. P on the vetting, uh, but as I said, this this has been through the committees. We have vetted it uh, more so than you know this last term that I've been up here, uh, more so than any contract we've done. Um, we voiced our concerns, uh, most concerns. I think as many as could be met were met. So, as far as the contract, I, I would have rather seen this before. so, you know, ahead of time, but, you know, we can work on that on other contracts. So I could accept this because, well, it's the facts. You know, you've given us the facts as they are. This is the way it is, other than the way it was written before. Nothing else had changed other than this, and we're assured of that. So I I feel good with this because I don't think going back to the committees again will will do anything other than just take up more time. I don't I don't think we'll be better in ourselves for moving anything forward. Any just any other discussion? We have a proper, a proper motion to make. Um, Commissioner Boyd, did you make the second? No, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't see that 14 days is hard ache or a burden that uh, you know putting this off uh, give us a chance to read over it and this five minute review. You know, yes, there have been other things in that contract change besides these five things. Tonnage for one that y'all pointed out that you found there was a mistake in. So, like I said, I don't like to vote on something I get in five, ten minutes later to vote on it. Any other discussion? I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm wishy washy. I'm sitting on the fence on a lot of different <coughs> things, but the, the system that I've reached, and I've reached it right now, is that. We, we've been through this. We took it under advisement. The commission, full commission, although it wasn't unanimous, asked us to revisit this, and that's what we've done. And the things that we come up with that we want to revisit it have been addressed, I guess. And, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate the the hard work that's gone into that in a short period of time. And the changes of that contract, Robert, have been explained to me by our attorney. So I, I don't know what sending it back to the committee would, would do other than give that committee the opportunity to say, um, uh, 
to re-vet it again, I, and that's the reason I ask uh, that, that it, it's, it's going to be our decision to make, and I'm not sure what would change if we went back to property management again. I, I just don't know. Uh, but I, I don't know whether waste management is fatigued or not, but we are. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the mayor's office is fatigued. I'm pretty sure our county attorney's fatigued, and, and this commissioner's getting kind of that way as well. So, um, and, and I've heard it say many times, uh, uh, Robert, that that the contract looks good, okay, but it was the process. So we've gone back and redone the process, and I guess that's where I am at this particular point in time. I'm ready to go. Uh, before we vote on the motion to send it to Public Works, I, I do want to say that Nick has worked incredibly long hours in a very short period of time, and uh, I I appreciate it, Nick. Yes, sir. Uh, Nick kicked some stuff to the curb um, that he didn't anticipate having to kick to the curb, and he's done a good job. So having <coughs> said that, and without objection. We are voting on the motion to send this to Public Works made by Chairman P. Carla, call the roll. Commissioner McAdoo. No. Commissioner Gooch. No. Commissioner Phillips. No. Commissioner Johnson. No. Commissioner Boyd. Yes. Commissioner P. Yes. Chairman Carr. No. Motion fails. We're back on discussion of the contract. Uh, uh, motion, motion, to approve the con motion to approve the contract. We have, we have a motion to approve the contract. Okay. With, with. Yeah. So I think. With, 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 change, with the, changes. And it'd be a motion to award the bid. Award the bid. And approve the contract. Approve the contract. And, and for the for execution. And execution. Uh, <laughs> with the necessary, with the <coughs> recommended changes that you. Correct. So did you get the motion as stated by. Uh, Nick Christensen on behalf of Commissioner Gooch. Yes, and I will clarify Please. everything. On the Thank you. Okay. Changes. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Okay. I'm waiting to make sure you have the motion. Yes. I haven't called for a second yet. Let me know when you're ready to, for a second. And you agree to everything? Yes. Okay, thank you, sir. You got it? Mm -hmm. The chair will entertain a second. Second. We have a second. Discussion. Okay, you know what I just said about being okay with the contract? Um, but in our last meeting, I brought up the other problem we have, and that's the legality of moving forward with the road. I have a problem moving up to approve this contract or any contract. It's got nothing to do with what's in the contract. It's what's ha what's going to happen with the road. I know the letter that I saw uh, could be a scare tactic, and that's what I've been told, but scare tactics take up a lot of time in court from what I've seen and uh, even if that's what it is we could be could be and could not be in some type of litigation as I see it in the future that would hold us up uh, and get us into trouble on the contract uh, no fault of waste management but and when I bring that up, I hear, well, you know, the, the judge throw this out and it won't be any problem and things like this. Well, that's good and I want to believe that, but I don't know that. All I know is we have a problem. And I asked at that last meeting that that be addressed. Um, and I think I said before I could vote on this contract. And as far as I know, it has not been well I think it's been addressed or at least some talks have started but but being 
by addressing it, I'm talking about put it to rest or give us some kind of legal, it's never a guarantee, but at least some assurance that we're not going to end up in a big problem with this if we go ahead and sign it and then we can't meet our obligation because of not being able to build the road to get to the transfer station or to be able to use it for that, for that service. Uh, so I guess I'm asking, and, and we may need to go out of session, I don't know, but I, I need some kind of assurance uh, that we're not going to be in a, having a problem with that. Uh, yeah, so um, their uh, legal issues have been raised regarding the landfill road, um, but I think that um, the county is hopeful uh, that those can be resolved, and there's been um, the initiation of coordinating discussions uh, on, on those issues, but um, they have not been uh, fully resolved yet. Uh, I don't know uh, when uh, or if, but I do know that um, there are efforts uh, to res try and resolve that issue. And uh, that's, that's the extent of it right now. It's been a short time period and stuff can only move so quickly. And um, though uh, it is difficult also to always, or to, to um, try and predict the actions of any third party and uh, the extent that that affects this body's judgment, you know. Um, so, but again, I'll go back that uh, from, from what I can say that there are efforts to um, uh, discuss and try and resolve the issues regarding the road. Any more discussion? Commissioner Johnson, that, that help? As much as we could, I think. I'll just, just say, I'll, I'll just say if, 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 Tom, if you don't start the transfer station up, we don't have to mobilize equipment and people out there. So there's no financial obligation. So if it's just the start date of the contracts, July 1st, but if there's no operation there, you're not ready to operate, then we won't bring equipment in and there's no minimum charges because we won't have to bring people and equipment into the site so so do we have a clause in the contract such stating that I just, that heard it, I just heard it verbally I mean we could certainly send you a we we'll certainly can send you a letter after the fact with that but that's our yeah. certainly our intention the, the minimum charge is because we have to bring people and equipment into the site I mean we're not going to charge you for doing nothing so yeah I, I'd have to have that in the contract before I could vote on this contract can you just put together a m memorandum of understanding? Uh, well, it, it would need to be in some form of the agreement. I mean, it would need to be, need to be in there if that's something that we want to do. If we can put an addendum on the agreement after, I mean, I'm telling you we're fine to negotiate that and put that in there as an addendum. So. And, and I think you're telling me the truth. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I really do. But, you know, I, I know I have trusted some some people dear to me in my life and uh, didn't turn out the way they said it was going to. So, you know, I'd like to trust everybody, but I know we can't do that, you know, 100%. Nick, can you put that language together? I can work with their counsel okay. on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and you're, uh, uh, in, in essence, you're in agreement to sign that? Uh, the contract start date would still be July 1st. Yep. But, yeah, we will negotiate through council to put a memorandum and put an addendum in there to clarify that that's that that's a concern but certainly the intent is that we don't start charging the county until we actually are operating the transfer station there's no reason for us to do that so i wonder if you could get that done by our next meeting we have already addressed that motion chairman pig so we're going to stick to the rules of the committee process so. yeah well, the motion you said was that I didn't, back I, didn't, to, I didn't make a motion, Chairman. As you stated it, you. was that it went back to Public Works. I didn't say that. I said 
could you bring that back to us at our next meeting? I didn't finish that fit, a fit thing. I mean, if you're going to add to or you need it added to the contract, that, that purchasing meeting. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, our next purchasing meeting is the 15th, if I'm not mistaken. But again, that would give us some time to look at it and then time to amend the contract. So we have, for point of order, we have a motion made by Commissioner Gooch to accept the contract as articulated by the updates from Nick Christian and seconded by Chairman Phillips. So is there any other discussion on the contract as amended. Just to, to clarify, the, the, so we all understand the fees are associated with the equipment and personnel that's being put in there. That's right. the 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 that's right. Okay, so <coughs> if, if, that, if, if that's not there, then you're saying there's nothing, there's no fees to charge. That's right, and that's, that's contemplated. That's right. I just don't see the issue. I would like for this motion to go ahead and pass. Any further discussion? On the motion and the second. Call for the question. Questions can call for Commissioner Duff. Uh, Chairman yeah, Duff, may I, may I uh, recognize uh, Commissioner Johnson? Yeah, Commissioner Johnson. Thank you. Uh, this is a big issue. I think it's a big issue in my uh, constituents as well as every, everyone sitting here. The constituents want, constituents want us to enter into something that not going to get us into trouble and of course anything can get you into trouble but this is yeah this is a big issue uh, the way it stands and and it's a the way robert put it bring it back to the next meeting and and have it done like i asked for in our previous meetings uh, that's that's not going to stop us from moving forward and and, and I hate to put that burden on my waste management, but you know, I, I did bring it up at our last meeting and it didn't get addressed. And so it, yeah, it's a big issue that it didn't get addressed and we need to get it addressed. So, um, and if, if it goes the way it is now as a vote, my vote will be no. And I, I would hate to see that stop this when we could just reword it and bring it back at our next meeting and put it through because my vote would be a yes then but Nick, not would, now would an amendment to that motion be proper with it, considering adding that language to the contract would that cover it would your amendment be to approve it contingent upon uh, the inclusion of <coughs> language that allows for the minimum true up charges related to the loading fee to not go into effect until it's operational until the waste transfer station is operational even if it's after the commencement date of the agreement that's exactly what I say <laughs> I'd like to make an amendment to the motion, uh, and I hate for to take words out of Nick's mouth, but whatever he said right there is more legal, and I'd like to make an amendment to the motion. Mr. Chair, could I just just add that to my motion instead of an amendment? Will you retract that motion, that amendment, and we can put that, and we can stipulate that, and you can second it. Can we do that? Sure. So sure. is, 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 I want to sure. check with Nick. I want to make sure I get it right. Yeah. Nick, can that you, that is a parliamentary the original motion. As a parliamentary procedure, is yeah, that fine. That's acceptable. So we're going to uh, amend uh, Commissioner Gucci's motion. Well, this is not an amendment. He's just resubmitting. That's, well, that's correct. Re 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 resubmitting the motion. That's correct. Thank you. The way it's previously stated and adding the language so, motion that was just said. That's correct. Yeah. Do we have a second? Yes. You, you did the second, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. We have a second. Now, do we have further dis discussion? We have a new motion and a new second. Then you're okay with that. Kind of confused me without rescinding your motion and just doing a new motion. I did. I think it's okay. <laughs> I really do. As long as this body understands what's going on 
piece. <coughs> the second was withdrawn by Mr. Phillips. It puts his main motion back on the table. Okay. He's now rephrased his main motion to include the language <coughs> that I previously just said. And Jeff, are you going to second that motion now again? Yes, you yes. Okay. So it's not an amendment. We have a no, we just redid it. Okay. That's correct. We withdrew the original motion and then they filed another motion that included the language that Nick was talking about. Okay. So my question is the contingency that the fees not be started when the start date is, but for how long does that last? If it, when we were in litigation for two years, does that, that still stand with us having no charge? Motion said until operational. That's the way it was phrased. So it could be 10 years. Robert, <laughs> I'm just asking, I, yeah. I want this clear. It said till operation. Well, it says contingent upon that being approved, too. So that makes a difference to me. That's right. I think there's no fees to charge until it's operational. How are you going to charge a fee when there's no fees to charge? Right. And so I think with this motion, just clarifies for Commissioner Johnson that there will be no fees charged until it is operational. Will there be any other cost to, to us from waste management during that time period if it's not operational besides those fees? There's no other, there's nothing else to charge? No. Chairman McAdoo, do you have a question? Uh, I was just going to bring up, I like the word operational because it's not specifically stated about this road. Operational means anything anything that happened during that period that we cannot open waste management is not going to charge us correct that's right okay yeah. thank you we have a motion and a second any further discussion seeing none without objection call the roll commissioner mcadam yes Commissioner Gooch? Yes. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Commissioner Johnson? Aye. Commissioner Boyd? No. Commissioner P? No. Chairman Carr? Yes. Five to two. Motion passes. Uh, gentlemen, thank you very much for your hard work. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, Nick, thank you very, very much to you yes, and Michael for your hard work. You're recognized. Just so we're good on this, yes, I voted against it, but I want to make sure since it's passed that that motion will take care of what it needs to take care of. There was no mention of the mayor being able to sign it in his second motion. He said all that in the first. Is that carried over into his motion that the mayor is authorized to sign the agreement? Or did we get that in that motion? Well, you it's not, it, let me if I can address that. It's not necessary because I won't sign it until the addendum is in the contract. Is that what you're saying? In other words, it shouldn't be signed until the language that was just added. Well, that's it? part of it. That's why I wanted to, you know, look at this and give us a little bit well, of time the, to make sure all our ducks in a row. But there's another the, problem. The, the, the motion was the original motion plus the additional language. And that's what we voted on. And so the mayor, if welcome to the court of the motion, can go ahead and execute it, sign it, and execute it. Is my correct? No. Not until we can put the addendum in there. That that language. I that, will not sign it until the language goes in. The inclusion of the language dealing with the um, not charging any fees until the waste transfer station right. is operational is going to be included into the agreement. Their council have to agree to it. And once that is added to the agreement, the way I understood the motion is that the approval is acceptable and the agreement could be signed. That's the way I, I interpret oh, it. That's fine. That's fine. Thanks. We're adjourned. Mm -hmm.